Okay, fumble them on a kushe kushe on a adu on a. We tell on all thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We on a always the patronize with with platform them, and we want for wish on all the best. We always on a day with we on a share with live and comments and questions them. So we want for make on a nose here. So we appreciate which you know on a do for this platform. Um, I get to Shabbat Tele to Rachel and we sister station we know we had. Once again, welcome to this platform today. Today we get um, Honorable Mohammed Bangura of the APC we get for can talk to we. So please, you know, stay with me, you know, share the live, you know, share the live, you know, share the live. Um, also, you know, comment them and question them, we read them out. Please. Um, we want to wish you all the best and have a pleasant, you know, get, uh, we believe you know, get a pleasant weekend. So please, you know, stay with me. I'm bringing um, with me, telling to Richard. Welcome again, Richard. Thank you very much, Agatha Shaba. I want to take this opportunity again for welcome. On all on board this platform, um, we loyal and faithful fans and friends, we always they turn up when um, we get a uh, program. I want to tell you that thank you and you know, continue for share this video. If this is not the first time you come to this platform, welcome. And uh, like you say, we get Honorable Mohamed Bangura of the APC. Uh, we can talk to we about um, certain statements them and other things them. We don't they happen um, after the election. So now continue for stay with me, me and Rachel Bangura Davis on a follow me page on Facebook, Rachel Bangura Davis. And uh, Una Seth go get any notification we are come on live. So Una, I want to say thank you to everybody and welcome. Yes, um, unfortunately, we for put um honorable Muhammad Bangura on camera, but we get serious issues with um on 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 camera so um we'll get for brian cam um on on whatsapp we'll get for brian cam on whatsapp because from over the past an hour now we get serious issue with um honorable bangora but um you know the internet the, the gear serious serious problem so what we have for do now we'll get for brian cam on on whatsapp you know um well welcome honorable um Muhammad bangora thank you very much Yes, it's so it's uh, I'm so sorry, you know. We we from the past one hour now we have a brief come on camera, but the internet they, they mess you up. Yes. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to go now. We're going to go now. We're going to go now. This internet is so bad. Yes, the internet is so bad. Yes, you want to tell me increase the volume because yes, you know, my for increase the volume to you because people are for you, right. more. yeah. And also increase the volume from your chat. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Yes, would it get you? Would it get you loud and clear? Richard, it gets um honorable loud and clear. Yes, and Fambulem, I hope so now they get um Mohammed Homer Mohammed Bangura as well. Thank you very much. So honorable, how was the um the campaign before the election? How was it? Because we soon are all over the place. How was the campaign? difficulties and uh, more so we we start to campaign and uh, carry the districts because mm -hmm. um Dr. Samura Kamara Bitsi everybody who said Mbona Musa Komot and the Fuku based and campaign. Mm -hmm. So because of that we get to retreat back uh Karine, retreat na Karine and based na Karine and then for over one month the campaign up and down. The campaign began challenges but thank God we'll be able to overcome some of the challenges in the Yes, so um after um the, the, the campaign we we'll, we we'll come to the election, we'll see so many problems then um um during the election day. So what you as an honorable um what are you take on the election day? Uh, the election day it peaceful, it peaceful to we side and carry the street because I cannot speak for the entire country. We will say it peaceful. There are no problems, and the people then vote on time, and they enclose the ballot box, and we start for counts. So everybody be peaceful, and um, we we'll get the results. We are not counts. 
So generally, are you are you assess the, the election generally? Not only are you the the Eagles side, but generally the whole country. The whole country, as we say, as a party, we get challenges in uh, many areas, especially that is some part that is southeast. Mm -hmm. You know, we get challenges where we don't have party agents, and um, some people, um, some of our supporters, cry out to the to vote on the. They get for beat them, they get for pull them out of their places, they get for wound them. Some of them spend the 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 the, the, the votes in the cell. So that area, the the area, they will not even access the at all, you know. And uh, that area that we we supposed to get votes for places like Pujel, places like Bun, and 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 at Kailau, even in Kenema, we have challenges there and some parts of the world. So the election generally it not be going well to na the southeast, but for we na the northern province and western the western area, you know, uh, few hiccups. Okay, um, um, on I will make a take you 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 back anyway. Um, during the time we were in parliament, you know, one um honourable way um this present governments be, be the target so many times. So the um honourable um Muhammad Bangua they arrest you. They, 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 they lock you up. Why these governments will attack you so many times? Well, you rightly, you rightly, you rightly, as you rightly see from the one where we take the one for one take the vote of office mm -hmm. uh, in um, parliament from that area they be the targets with you. Why? Why the targets you? Why? Why you may be the targets? Why you may be one of the main targets? For some reason, the effort we just believe see doing the the campaign the electionary period mm -hmm. i was i was i was i was i was um raising some issues uh, as, as they say they see me mouthy and uh because of that they feel say as i don't come back in the parliament i'll continue to be mouthy and uh as a result they for try for silence me throughout the lifetime in parliament i spent our most time in and out in the police stations as mm -hmm. i tell you the last Day before yesterday, now we caught because of the last case we have against Nasema in the Google for Google campaign. They mm -hmm. arrested me a judge with five counts, mm -hmm. you know, and they still do not card in a court. And um, obviously, now they don't, they don't get valid yet. So I don't go through lots of trying times now, ABC, with them uh, in the hands of the SLPP. It's, it's, so, it, it's so difficult, I tell you, for, for the truth, my brother. It's so difficult. Okay, I'm Rachel. All right, welcome again, Mohammed, uh, Honorable Mohammed Bangura. And um, I just want to follow we go to um, after the election, you know, the post election um, uh, um, outcome. Yeah. And um, we all see and uh, we all are aware of how the international community they don't take stands based on the outcome of the election. And um, also your party, where you self represent. Um, what do you think about the outcome of the election as to how the people then turn up for votes? What is your take on the outcome of the election? The outcome of the elections will get problems, right? And uh, especially with tabulation of uh, uh, results. Get problems, there is no transparency at all. You know, say for example, now carrying the streets in which I come out when we don't tabulate all the election uh, and the, the, the votes, and we, we all look at SLPP gets the 9,000, 9,000, close to 9,800, 8,900 something votes. Now they're gonna carry the streets. That is the five constituencies. They both will go check out. To my surprise, SLP and don't forget 19,700 when they announce. And they don't for take one seat. And they say, for you to be able to carry a seat, you get forget 11% and above. They don't get one, they don't get one. That repeats in many other areas, like Potoko districts, like Mbou, um, like Western area, most of Western area. 
So I would say the elections is not fair, especially when it comes to tabulation of results. It is not fair at all. So yes, the international community, like um, international NGOs, like domestic observers, like a new, they rise. For see, the figures they wouldn't get, then get at the end, with the figures the way uh, uh, NET and uh, ECSL announced, it don't match at all. It don't match at all. So, so okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, go on. Right, right. <laughs> Moving fast forward, um, um, uh, on because, mm -hmm. um, as for now, what are the decisions we the party don't take? I will tell you, my brother, the decision of the party is where I have problem at this point in time. What do you mean by you get? What, of, yeah, what do you mean by you get problem with the decision the party don't take? I will never get my honor. We need for for go for go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the break up, please. Can you, can you come again, please? Yeah, but honorable, honorable from since um 2018, the APC gets so many court cases they wouldn't opt and not call it. So you know things are done uh, na, 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 na a good decision where the party take not for gonna court. It was not a good decision at all. Why? Granted, granted that the courts they are against you. That many cases we will not take my court court. The party the, the party lost them. And some of them cases they will not supposed to lose them at all. So the courts not fear with me. But in this case again, the only avenue you have is the courts. Because you don't call for uh, a rerun of the elections. And the only body will they do are the courts. If you don't say you don't go to the court because they rogue you yesterday, because they don't rule in your favor yesterday, now you make the good today, then who say what they go next? All right. Uh, okay. Uh, the election in the country. All right. Let me let me come in, Mohammed. Let me come in, Honorable Mohammed. But there, um, the, the the party also take decision from my understanding. Uh, say like you say, on enough participate in governance. Uh, those are one of the 
the decision where Una Party take. And you say, like, there was a video going around where you say, you they participate, you they go to parliament, and uh, um, in fact, nobody made you, you were Mohamed Bangura, you were made before even the APC. And you decide, you say you they go, uh, um, you they participate, only you not be able to sign that uh, memorandum of understanding that you don't go participate in elections. Why you take that position then? Yeah, there's two things we are completely there. The video where they make the rounds is not a recent video. Oh, okay. That is over one year ago. It's a, it's a separate issue. An okay. issue with the Guna Parliament. We, we debate where they want to take a position at that time. So that video, they, they don't get anything to do with the election now. That's an old video. No. It is good that you, it, it good, sorry for interject you, it is good that you clear that out because the video they go round as if you single-handedly come out of the party and say, I choose my path rather than the decision of the party. So it is very important that you clear that video. It's over one year, I think it's closer to years, mm. two years. That's an old video and issue with the Guna Parliament. Now, the same party again, you take a position. When I look at the entire issue, I look at the constitution at that time, it, it's against my belief as a lawmaker to make a vote against the issue in the parliament. So that is old. That is old. That video did not get anything to do with the present status. So what is your position now with the party? What thing are you on stand with regards to what in the party don't come out with say on enough for take part in governance? What thing are you on position? Coming to, the, coming to that issue, the, make I explain a little bit right. what's in the background. Okay. Coming to that issue, the, all right. Since I don't issue the press release a few weeks ago, when some of me gets issues with that press release thing, like the things that are not trying to learn, like not going to court and so on and so forth. So I call the Secretary General, I raise a registered me concern, and the Secretary General said they will call a meeting. So when I call a meeting on Wednesday last week, it was a hope that that is the appropriate place where are the raise with point. When are they go accept? Because if you say men lawmakers they not attend parliament, then we not in that the, the alternative after we go attend parliament. What is next? So all that we need clarity. And also, also excuse me, you cannot make laws in a party because in a, in a national executive without involving members of parliament where they, where they make the laws for. So on that, I say, when we can a meeting, and they ask them in that question early. So we can a meeting on Wednesday, the chairman, Mikhail Obansari, he come inside the hall. Nine talk. It took one year, one hour, 20 minutes. It just a monologue. It's The issue when the party don't take is all debatable. The issue when the party don't take, nobody will even ask why. So when you don't talk so, he even will go further to threaten the lawmakers and say, anybody will go against the decision. They will take himself the graveyard. That is, then go. When you use section 77 to Popular in the parliament. My own talk for over one hour, 20 minutes. After we don't talk, then I say, all right, where will you go? Now they made left alongside with some honorable members there. On my way coming home, now here I receive a phone call from honorable Chibu. He said, why make me not go and stay and sign the letter of commitment? Let's say whose commitment letter. He said the commitment we will say we support the party in position by not attending parliament. Let's say, well, 
when we are on the meeting. We are inside the meeting. The letter will not be a gap. The letter will not discuss her. We we'll only go discuss one thing, that is the position of the party. Not at any single time that Una inform we see, Una for can sign a commitment letter. I say I am on my way. Me no will come back in the office, and I know can for can sign any other letter. Immediately I don't talk with them. In space of five minutes, the letter don't go to social media. The people call me from party office. They they pan bitter. They say me that me don't sell game. Me that switch on. Before read from the party office, I pick up the party supporters there. They begin cost me all kind insulting words. They go burn me. They go burn the house. They go burn the office. They go burn the motorcar. They me don't sell game. Me not treat you. Me not all kind name they call me. Number one, not to say I be refused for sign the letter. Not to say I be refused for go at, uh, for stand with the party at that time. Not because. I know they're in the office where that letter they come for sign. But don't no one able to wait for me. Who I say at the come the house now, where I live, well, a distance. For say, when tomorrow they come and sign the letter, then publish it about. So I say, I say, now a deliberate attempt to ridicule me. A deliberate attempt for me to look bad in the eyes of the public. And that's why I happy for that letter. So, would, would you have signed that letter? I mean, if you be rich um, um, now your desk, or if you be rich or they be sent unto you, would you have signed that letter? And even as of now, regardless of what it don't happen within the party, it's your party, you, you don't sign the letter or you self don't make that commitment today. Not let me, tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, Rachel. Mm. If they send the letter to me that moment, I for sign up because I agree to the party position. I say this election they don't rule we, they don't take them away from we. As a result, we will put some resistance to the SLPP, but that don't happen at all. That no happen at all. They put them to the public. They say, when I look who, hold it up, one of them don't resign. So if, if, if they give you a letter now, you will sign them, or you don't sign the letter? No, I will not sign. I will not sign. I will not sign. I will not sign. Yeah, but honorable, honorable, yes, and the answer, why, why, why you don't go sign a letter? First of all, um, I would, would you appreciate, would, would you appreciate you where you don't clarify? Where you don't, where you, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a background. Yeah, we do appreciate you. Yeah, we do appreciate Yeah, we do appreciate you, but um before the election, before the election, um um Dr. Samura may make a press conference with some of the things that were happening during the election and after the election, it don't come to pass. You understand? So most of the things the way Dr. Samura say it happened during the election and after the election. Now, so many we party members then they, they tell you they, 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 they call me and we send on social media say Mohamed Bangura not sign this letter. They will take you like a say you now a snitch to the party. You have to betray the party. My brother, yes, sir. I don't explain the reason why I'm not be signing the letter. Everybody or anybody with the right senses. Agree with me at that moment that if the Muama send the letter, they will not sell up for me by electronic or they wait the following day. I go send the letter because it was not a die or do game at that, that night, it was not at all that night. So, so you're willing to sign the letter moving media mm -hmm. and people and begin call and talk say oh my brother don't 
side. Then begin calls. Already, I get threat to my life. Already, my play do not beat up. But things I want to look out for at all. For a letter that I was, I did not refuse to sign. Oh, it's not it's bad. Yeah, uh, honorable, uh, honorable. I just want, I just want to let me say, um, we know what you don't go through, according to which you explain the short time where this issue um, come. I mean, those are uh, um, sacrifices. I mean, people like you make for your party, regardless, you know. And I can understand again from the other point the way how people are so aggrieved with the outcome of election. So. Um, maybe people were misinformed out there as well. Some of the APC and supporters, they were misinformed as well. So moving forward, um, considering the fact that you also acknowledge the, the outcome of the election is not transparent, um, moving forward, are you willing, you willing for sign this, this document so that you also go be part of the stance or of the position of, of your party? Are you willing to sign that letter? I agree with my if you know Mohammed Bangura, you will not be labeled with that question. I, I made it very clear that initially, I not refused to sign the letter. And if they may want you to sign the letter, therefore don't wait for me the following day, I'm going to office, I'm going to sign the letter. That I agree no matter with the position of the party. Yeah? But judging to the background, in which this, the, the issue don't take now, I will tell you, I am not going to sign that letter. So I'm to yesterday. That means you go for participate in parliaments. That means you now go for participate in parliaments. It's, it's a different thing. It's too different thing. Hmm. To participate and to sign a letter. It's too different thing. I know he signed that letter then. I'm not participating in parliament. It's too different. So, are you going to participate? You, as Mohamed Bangura, are you going to participate? In this interview, yeah. so many things so happen on the ground. So many things. My house talks of supporters, they go there, they go cause them. Poor mommy, we don't know nothing. They cause them. And me, they continue for bring abusive language on me for me rights for the no. Come on. Oh, oh, before Shaba continue, I just want to ask this with one question because, um, we don't know Yeri, I'm um, out there from supporters of the APC party and also from general concerned Sierra Leoneans that, um, from 2018. Um, there is this thing out there, I wouldn't say, um, that President Bio Den, um, always they play the divide and rule playbook within the APC. We are in all, all man get your opinion, even if you know, want to speak with one voice, but the influence of the AP and the SLPP of, of President Bio Den, they, they play the divide and rule, and a lot of the support, a lot of Una don't play into that divide and rule politics where the AP, where the SLVP, they play inside the APC. So what do you go say about that now when people were really concerned about the outcome of the election, feel say Una all for them on one page and we see the still divide and rule politics playing in the APC. What do you go say about that? Uh, Richard, that divide and rule issue is true. But when they talk as a lawmaker, we would in a parliament. We they speak in one voice. And we do things in one voice. Throughout five years in a parliament, we remain together. Be inconsistent with your stand. We don't ever we live together. Outside Parliament to the executive, ordinary supporters, yes, it's possible that President Bill applied the divide and rule. But in Parliament, we, the members of Parliament, nothing like that we don't ever show 
during a lifetime in the parliament. I say this because we speak in unity. And these elections, we are being so. I believe, see, if President Kouba be one, apply, um, President Biobi, they applied the divide and rule again. You know, work for her. Because I see everybody in these elections comes on deck. We see the petito, Nakambia, Nade Day, the campaign. We see Dr. Richard Conte in Makeni and the Talese Center highly the challenge issue. We see the Kemosi Saints in, 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 in Potroko, the old lady, how did the challenge issues? They all. So every stakeholder be involved in these elections. I must see no stakeholder where they be and we left behind. Everybody, everybody be involved. Everybody be involved. So the divide, I not spare much in the play that the party during the elections. Because you don't have a pinpoint by anybody where you could say this person jealous or this person don't let me by this by this campaign. So as it is now, are you are you together and the stance of uh, with the stance of the party? Because um, like like we continue for say based on what we said the year from the people and from concerned Sierra Leoneans that that up till now the APC party you know to speak with one voice. That is why even maybe the the the, the, the present administration able for do what even when they do so up till now. <laughs> I will tell you, my dear sister, based on what they are right now, as mm -hmm. I talk to you, based on what they are right now, as I talk to you, that the APC, we are belong, me, Mohamed Bangura, I get a lot of issues where I need to take with them for clarity, as we talk now. You don't mind for you don't mind for name one of the one couple of the issues, issues there. Them, yeah. Please. Well, I, some of the issues that they, I don't tell, I don't begin with the gist now. Yeah, I don't begin with the gist now. So if we are same members of parliament and not for good parliament, we would explain to me what it could be the next line of action. They don't explain at all the next line of action. Because we're not simple on courts, we don't get for courts. What it could be in the next line of action? Let the executive can explain to the membership what they're going to put in place. Because during the election, they say go vote. We need to protect our votes. That is, then the executive, then they protect your votes. And from the looks of things, the people are let down. It's like over one million go out and vote for APC. But the elections do not reflect the votes. So which means somebody know you protect the votes. So who to blame? Who are, who are for blame? Or who are they for I blame? Will tell you, I will tell you, we as a party, we have questions to answer to the ordinary supporters. We as a party, because even in making decisions, would they make decisions then eh? on the basis of the party supporters? Eh? Say, for example, mm. during the time of the census, when I say for, 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 for census time, they come, right. the NPC party will pay, make will not participate. And the At that time, I single handedly tell let's say no more participants at the census. Many come to it because the census. They say back, me don't sell again. They say me a speech. They have to be accept much. Census come, 
Sem os seus pais, people are not going to register. All over, people are not going to register. We see the outcome of that. They take system when from Freetown, they get them in the southeast. I swear to God, if they don't count to me by that census, three times alone, for don't get like 15 extra seats because it's populated now, Freetown. It's overpopulated now. Like all the areas there, Mamali, Potroko, Kamiya, all the areas that they do not overpopulated now. They all for them get surge in their numbers. So if we are going to make one big mistake, like the census, we are saying we will not participate. As a result of that, we see what is the, what is the implication today. Then we will not come back and come with another press release of not going to courts, of boycotting governance. Definitely, everybody for able to sit down and ask the executive what is the way out. All right, Mr. Joskan, you mentioned some critical issues here, so we, I just want to <laughs> ask you on, and then Shaba, yeah, you could take him from there. So, um, you said the party they make decision or for make decision based on waiting, you know, the grassroots and all that concerns Sierra Leoneans them want. Um, do you, you and you also specifically mentioned the, the midterm census and also this uh, um, um, position where the party also don't take not to participate in the, uh, um, the, the process. So, these are uh, um, according to what the party feel, these are measures them or these are ways to resist you know the the, the current administration these are measures the way that they take for resist uh, um the current administration because we have some time time today where even the general public say well apc to call this decision and for don't make them then sit on them or this government they use them so i think the party was making some decisions Based on the general public or the people that went at the APC and said where they come up from, then, then concern. So, you get on the contrary. So, this is why I say, I, I say again, say the, AP, the, the, the divide and rule thing is still playing out because APC not ever speak with one voice. If they say this, you go see one or two critical thinkers, them go come up from another angle and say that. So, that's how it's been playing all this while. Forget about the divide and rule. The APC as an executive, the dish on them, mm. most of them, when they don't be, they don't be good at all. They don't be good at all. It's a strong. I don't tell you. So if you take one wrong decision on politics, one wrong decision, you don't go to a setback, then you can't take another decision. Then you don't expect, you expect people enough to ask you questions. You expect people not to ask you that this decision will take so. What is that the rationale? What, what will be the way out? If you say no, no, go court, you say no, 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 go parliament. Then I'll have to ask them what's next. So honorable as we as we with the wrap up now, what will be the consequence if we are not going to parliament? Because now we will not say we are not going to court. And we'll make to understand say parliament will be next, I think next Wednesday or next Thursday. What are the consequences if we're not going to parliament? Well, I'm yet to read the read that law Mm -hmm. Because as it means, we are not members of parliament. Because not, we don't subscribe to the vote of office. If you subscribe to the vote of office, I can tell you, see, party settings of parliament, you, a member of parliament, if you absent party settings, you lose your seat. You lose your seat. But in this case, we are not members of parliament yet. We 
it. So I'm not going to speak on that. What will be the consequence? Because we are not members of parliament yet. So, so my own question as to the wrap up, really. If una, are you going to participate as Honorable Mohamed Bangura moving moving forward away Parliament open or when you're sworn in or some? Are you going to participate uh, uh, um, in Parliament? I will tell you, until I have answers to my concern that it will not take part in the parliament, voting will be the way out. Until someone, somebody, for sitting with me, and address them concerns there, so I'm afraid. So, so what do you go equally say about the international community then stand way up till now? Then self not give congratulate President Bio. Then self just they, they I mean they might have their, their other stuff. Yeah, I mean, just have to ask on a yeah, yeah. congratulate President Bio or Mother Bio. Yes, yeah, so they might have their own plan B. So the first position is not to congratulate President Bio. But then it's then self not even come up with to we the Sierra Leoneans them where they self they stand for say, okay, after this, this is our next 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 action. We self no know. Likewise, you self say you don't know what's in the, the, the next alternative from the APC. Probably they might get probably the international community community self also definitely will get a plan B, but they are also sticking to their position. You know, things say APC is also waiting for the next plan. Based on the history, based on what we know in Africa, we are not the elections are conducted in Africa. Fortunately, the international community at that initial stage will not recognize the government. But I tell you, mm. as we go along, they will eventually do business to the government on the day. So the international community the day, we are not able to put respect on them. Because the only thing power is really getting hands now for sanction you, SLPP. Sanction you. Like they did in Green, they did in Mali, in Burkina Faso, and all the rest of African countries. They is sanction. But you and I don't say at that time. You don't know, say. The African leaders, they are so. They get some way when they will play around the sanctions. When they sanction you, the government the functions, and the, the, the function, and the people they suffer. The people will pay a price. For the sanctions, they are so. Always. The international community don't get the power for say now with the camp, you mother be commodity forcefully with the conduct of the election. You know, they don't have the power. You and I know that. They don't. Even if they have the power, they, are, they will be reluctant to, to act. So, so they impose action and impose the sanction that the people don't want to suffer all right um, um, moment i mean it's getting it's getting very it's getting very interesting um uh, I got yeah. to here. Um, um i understand you 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 premise where you don't base on um not uh, um or wanting to get answer from your political party from all indication, international community, of course, like you rightly say, cannot forcefully remove um, um, Madabio from um, from his seat. But you don't mention sanction and probably other stiff, stiff uh, uh, um, positions that would the international community would take on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone, on behalf of the interests of democracy. No, you don't think so, the, 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 the international community, they on the side of the people them and these are some of the things that we that uh, um, go take for proof to the people and say they are with the people and also they uh, they're not supporting the government of the day and that is what you are uh, uh, the people of Salon think say now that's your party also want for do of course of course the international community on the side of the Salonians because by not recognizing the government it means it's implied as 
the government was not legitimate. So then, but then you sign up the people. All the things they will see by these elections, these elections, all the things they will see, they not things they will not see long ago. Long ago. That SNPP did not elections. And that's the Guru Gui. We don't say a long ago. We will tell them for release the voters' registrations. They don't do it. They don't live. They don't live. The card, the ID card, and go prints in black. You know, we don't go to identify somebody, they only go votes. So, all the signs of a written election as it is today, they belong there. What did the opposition they do? In many cases in Africa, I will tell you, hmm. we'll come out and say, ABC no rights, ABC no rights, we are not going to participate with the boycotts. The election for boycott the election? Boycott elections. Give me the door. Because all the signs were very clear, we are giving. So say the SNPP they wrote these elections. And that's yes, if you yes, you don't go print card, the voters card. As poor as this card is, it's a recipe for who's with this today. Yes, yes. So what you for don't do, what you for don't do, if you don't look all the issues there so and not see this election there so now a rigged election. As a result, we are not participating at all in the elections. Yes, we get the power for that. The people have all the power. They call the government for that. What well, they may not resign, the easiest system for resign. They determine, the people of this country, they determine for CC, it's a salary resign. The day on Monday, we'll get to last rally. Now, this country, when I see how this country, this city, all be turned red. At that rally, we be expect to win leadership in the APC for coming out the pronouncements. Because 99% of the supporters were go that day, they were determined to see Menek resign. Because at that rally, people come out today with despondency, disbelief. How do we go out and tell people and say, election on the rights, election on the rights, election on the rights? So, so, uh, <laughs> but, but we also see the concern way APC being be, 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 be made. 90% of the concern, meaning the disaggregated data and so many things that were APC being called for, it was given with the intervention of the international community um, last minute. And that was when I think your leadership decided that Una will go into elections. But moving forward, um, it has happened. And it, hap it, it is, it's good that it happened the way it happened so, so that people then go no say their mandate has been stolen. And like I said, moving forward, you mentioned something like, say, if parliament, parliament, parliamentarians don't go for in the 30 sittings, it go losing seats. Are you concerned more about your sittings or you, you be removed of, of, from parliament or you are much more concerned about the mandate where this present administration steal from the people and where I believe say the APC party wants to take that stance for support for people and fight for their vote? Well, I'll tell you, I say all this fight who they fight so, and I fight who for not fight long ago, long ago, from the time when they remove 10 parliamentarians, from the time when they remove 10 parliamentarians, to APC SLPP. But at the end of that situation, now only one person and 28 
people with the ordinary supporters, then they arrest. That is me, Honorable Mohamed Bangura, and Karbo Kaba, and 28 ordinary supporters, and they are arrested. The full members of parliament said it. And they left the both. Both. From that day, SLP will not test we. Don't know, see. They want their show with the Kerem Musa Wane. From that day, when you don't take it, start that release the voters there to the list, the ID cards, and so on and so forth. We do not give for release, that they for call for boycott of the elections. You know, for wait for say boycott of governance, that they for call boycott of the elections. You know, call that. So the whole thing is messy. That I will tell you for two. The whole thing is messy. We are not going to parliament. It's messy. SLPP sitting there as SLPP alone, one party state, is messy. All of this messiness, whether we're not for lose. As so, country, Sierra Leone, so what's it going to be? So what's it going to be your best advice to your political party when they're making decisions? So? Dialogue. I tell you this, my brother. Dialogue. Dialogue with who? Dialogue with who? Dialogue. Dialogue with who? The government, the international committee, they don't recognize it. Well, well is it no matter? Let's not put it that way. No matter how you put her, mm. it, the president of the country will not announce itself as a winner. International community accepts or not, eventually they will work with the government as they did in many other African countries. That reality, that is a naked truth. If anybody not accept her, to go and listen, we just say fool itself. That is naked truth. And the other naked truth is, when they don't make His Excellency the President, we don't declare itself as the winner, no matter what is happening, we know we are not going to be willing to come from outside for can conduct other elections. Nobody. Nobody. No can conduct other elections. So 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 you so you accept the outcome of the election where President B announced himself say that in win? The outcome of the elections. In life, one has to accept the circumstances in which you find yourself. So, 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 why do they complain now? Why do they complain now? Say, APC so we don't make, we, we, so we don't take stands. But the situation that we find for ourselves is messy. And the only person we will benefit, say, and we will lock it, stay in, now Master Leo. So, if we have to do compromise with the political class, do a compromise for the interest of the ordinary person. So who's can compromise with things say on a party? Who's can compromise with things say on a party for make? No, I know we can prejudge any compromise. I say compromise. A compromise where we left the country the benefits. Not a weak politician. A compromise will benefit the country. Save America. Al Gore and Bush. You know that. Now by twenty something votes, I say I'll go win. Not so. Right. Um uh, Bush win. Not so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That election was won by Al Gore. Al Gore in the election. They sit down as a party. They say this election is for the lands. We won the elections. But in the interest of the country, in the interest of peace, now you make a good level. Now you make a good level. When 
Donald Trump in the interest of the country and peace, in no grief or left, we all see the turbulency in which at the early stage America see. First time in history, Americans, they danced as literally announced the results of Joe Biden. They danced as roots. First time, first time. No, so first right. time we see riot as it. They go under the, 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 the House of Representatives, the capital city. They go riot there. And we see the divide where America right now. Uh, uh, Mohamed, I'm, I'm a bit confused with your position here. Honestly, I'm a bit confused with your position here, I must say. Um, because the APC, what's in the APC, even the Sierra Leone people they don't go through for the past five years. And the people of Sierra Leone, because of them vote where they vote, that shows that they're not even one for do anything with this current government based on the turnout and the, the kind of world election uh, 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 and come out. So if you, they say you party for go to the same government back where in so many instances I have not been dialoguing with your party, I've excluded you in terms of a lot of things from governance and even the way how the, 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 the economic situation there right now. And you are saying your same political party should dialogue and find a compromise with this uh, uh, um, current government. I'm a little bit confused because in the first place you say you know, enough of we don't take them from this government. And it's talk up in the basis of patriotism that in the situation mercy as it is you will not have a winner. You will not have a winner. The only loser in the country may be lose. The only person in the country may be lose. Okay, and well, um, I do appreciate you, Honorable um, Mohamed Bangura, for way your honorable invitation. I will believe say we will come back on camera. Just unfortunate, we will right. not forget you on camera. And what will be your final message to Salunians and also to your political party? Well, the final message, now I don't talk so. The political party, I say, more could step fast. I say, make we call for a compromise make we sit down and look make we organize our party restructure our party learn from the mistakes that we did this past elections and we further as reunions mm -hmm. i say make we unite make we unite make we swallow the bitter pill Okay, quick one before you go. Yeah, quick. I just hear you talk. Say make we unite, but so many things that will happen in our country. We not see President Bio come and condemn them. You see, recently we they go kill person now in a party office, and also when they kill a person back uh, two minutes away from the party office. We see where they where they attack um um, um Doctor Samura na, na Kainau. Then block them, they even have to kill them in the fire, live bullets, and other, other people that are the political party. But President Bio no come and condemn all and thing anymore. Now you talk say for make when I work with the president for United Country. I tell you this. I'm not telling you about work with the president. I say we could dialogue. And in dialogue, Boku thinks they are happy. Day. Currently, I, as I'm speaking to you, mm -hmm. we get over 50 of the supporters then. We do wait for trial. With some of them, from the local Napanema Road. And not charge them, they are there. Including an American citizen, we are sharing with in the Panema Road. In, in, a, in, in dialogue, all of these things will be addressed. All of these things will be addressed. Okay. As I was speaking to with people in the southeast, they don't move from one at southeast. They don't run the houses. They don't beat them. They harass them. The only thing we're going to call and go back to the old places, na peace and quietness. Anything other than that, they will be 
this place for the next five years. And I'm saying this, do you want to see your own people live in short situation? No. Nope. Certainly no. Certainly no. <laughs> so, do I want to see the future of the land upon the road and charging a course? A start trial and conviction tomorrow? Certainly no. And the interest of all the things that you are not also. I'll tell you, if you mean my leader, I will say for my people, we are not also now. I will ask for more Kusino and talk. For President Bio, all the things that will not happen will not be comments. That is him, and that is bad leadership. That is bad leadership. Because at least he cannot come out and speak on the issues again. But no, he not one. He left people in, then he killed people in. Even the police officers were well, killing that woman in a party office. Up to this point, in Bondi, he became a mortuary. He not able to come and say, the police are not killing people that man, and they will be responsible. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Honorable Mohamed Bangura. Definitely, we'll bring you come back next weekend on camera. Thank you very much. We do appreciate you. Okay, um, Famulem, we get all our political analysis that we have to bring um, on board, Suleiman and Mr. Jalo Jambo, and two hundred several years from the man himself. Which I you take. You know, um, it's a very interesting interview, I must say. And um, Mohamed Honorable Manu Bangura it's, it's, has been very controversial in his own right. But again, he makes some conflicting statements we end up for for confused people even more, basically. Right. And um, he says one thing from this side, and he says another thing again from the other side. So he end up not having a particular position. Usai, the way you able to say, na yaso ide, because it gets conflicting statements then. Um, I mean, I mean, if Una self in the comment section, Una self let we know what Una think about the interview with Mohamed Bangura. But I, I, I believe from the interview, there are so many conflicting statements. Welcome, the, well, welcome, the, welcome, the welcome Suleiman. From one yes, side and the you other thing from the other side. We just don't welcome, um, um, to our man so far. So let me think. Let me know from the comment section what you Una think about um, this interview with Mohamed Bangura and Auna uh, Siam. Let me get them from the comment section, please. Welcome again, Suleiman Fofana. Welcome. How are you? Thanks for having Very me. Very well, me. thank you. Very well, thank you. So, we, I mean, we just done the interview. Uh, I, I hope you watch that interview uh, or you listen to the interview. Uh, before we even go further, what is your opinion about the interview with Mohamed Bangura? I listen um, uh, almost a half of it. Because I joined a bit late, but I mean, to what I got, Mohamed Bangura is much more confused than the co the situation where he very confused itself. That's how you go. You see, Why he's a, he's not a very intelligent man, because the position you not take a position. You are right, as you rightly said, and a man. It, it sounds like a man we very desperate, like the others. We want for you know attain position now. It's all about money. It's about it's not about the country. I mean, this thing that is happening today is not about the APC even, but it's about precedence where African countries they once said we're not good for the future of Africa, for the future of Sierra Leone. And thank God, if the audio going around, 
from the Nigerian, current Nigerian head of state in recent position we take that there is going to be a commission for look into the Nigerian election. He don't sort of like wake up to himself because the very first week and month we come into office, he see uh, the other kind of stuff, cost of living skyrocket, uh, um, investor confidence plummet, um, refusal from the international community for engage with him and take Nigeria seriously. He's an old man, full of wisdom, despite in past, but he don't get a really good life. He's a very intelligent man. He puts Ian and Peter Obi together to go to the flag Peter Obi in any kind of thing, the flag hands down. The only two way militates against her in age. But this is a man we don't can take full responsibility now to, to, you know, I will review this election and I will ensure that we will put a commission and I apologize to the Nigerian people for a very bad precedent set. This is a nation of 200 million people. If we set bad precedents in Africa, it's going to be into future generations. We're so bad for the continent. So if a man like this now, you don't begin to sort of like uh, get some huge international acclaim, and people don't begin to respect that. And if he does things like this, it's going to shame a lot of people in back of Sierra Leone because they look at what Nigeria is doing. I hope Nigeria can set that good example there. We will all will follow in future. This election is very simple. Mohamed Bangura, I don't actually know how confused he is. If I understand, say, first and foremost, all the atrocities and this that way happened these five years, they could not actually take a stand because the president himself control everything. And people in life, they're really at stake, if I understand, Andy. Number two, if I see the fight way, they start fighting from 2020 for this Mohamed, um, um, Mohamed Kone that he wasn't the right person. Nothing happened there. If I see how them bulldoze 10 parliamentarians, then I mean, at the end of the day, what in my position you want to take about the APC? The APC, if they go to court, it is like endorsing this process. First and foremost, if you look at the country report from 2019 to today, the court in parliament, the one institution is the name inside Sierra Leone country report as the worst critical institution in order to work for the people. So how can you trust a court like this? They say they will take a decision away. The 2018 uh, uh, case, the law even uh, address them four years later. So if the APC take that bit thing, these are the seeds very clearly. If they take that bit from one court, it is like endorsing that the election was run proper. This election from the very first start shows clear evidence that the worst election since the history of this nation. An election where they begin to intimidate uh, pulling agents in from the opposition stronghold seen a lot for day around Kailan, around the, 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 the party SLPP stronghold. They will see evidence of intimidation, harassment of people from that area. Day. Um, an election where the first lady talk about party office did not for exist. They go to burn an office that ball, ballot stuff where they cage all over the country. They educate them in broad daylight, ballot stuff and everything. And then they call results where the international community not present, uh, returning officials from the ruling parties are not present. How do All you right, want Mr. Jalo, before Sheba talk to Mr. Jalo, um, what do you, in moment when we also make a critical um, suggestion or, or a point here, say, um, if if he left to in as Mohamed Bangura, the APC party for dialogue with President Bill for compromise with uh, um, I don't know if to say if for call him President Bill for compromise with him and for dialogue with with, with Mother Bill. What do you think about that? That is the worst kind of um, advice. And if I mean to call him President Bill, I mean to call him former President Bill because this is the concluded election. I mean, what I for do the uh, other? Now, President Bio ninth, ninth for taking this responsibility. Not to a party for go. This is you know, something, what's wrong with this country? That's what I said. I'm a, I'm it's about blaming, yeah. blaming the victim <laughs> for things where happen to the victim. For example, then they kill people in the country. They still blame the people. They say the people are wrong. What are all this here? Who is sending all the security forces there? What are not the leadership? What are for taking the responsibility for 7.8 million people? Who should actually galvanize? What are for taking the lead? What are for the talk when they kill people? If you have a responsibility, it's just like I remember the case of Abed Tijakaba in 1998. Way, I don't know, boy Jambore, if you remember that incident, the way they catch one Chris Mann inside the crowd of SLPP 
uh, 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 supporters them in 1998 around November. The club that guy they, they put on a chair and they on a right now cutting tree. It take two days and then to Jack about talk. Now people will be they say it's about talk. Oh, look at what they happened in the international community. Look at what they say. Then they say can't can talk. How can we do these kind of things to this nation? Manabio, who takes the lead? If they kill people, if you party members, they said for sure responsibility, for sure leadership. You the kind you make statement, you condemn the thing. This is what a civilized person in the 21st century will do. But unfortunately, man, I'm like Bushman. Now, damn native boy, where no go through no process of, of understanding how the world really work. You know, I mean, you know, they show any evidence of living as a civilized society or working civilized administration for understanding the implications of these things. I mean, they are killing people. They are prosecuting people. They kill some of the APC office. They cannot even make a simple statement. They have no shame. But Bola Tinubu, if God make things go right, will set a really good example. We go shame because he talk and say, is this like the electoral commissioner? If you guys are involved in this election rigging, the consequences, I, I, I mean, it go, it go, we all go feel the consequences. You're not thinking wrong that in African society. You will get people that can go cost for people then. Well, they're not even sabi who said bond themselves. They're not even sabi who said them on a daily start. You know, people taking Slamab. the, the, the cost, they intimidate for, for, for politicians. They will not even know them. These are some of the things that we, I hope Bola Tinubu will put the record straight so we all will learn from this. Slaman, so honestly, yeah. honestly, I, I still is shake. I'm still. telling you. <laughs> how can they blame you? Rachel, how can they blame you for doing the good work? How can they blame you? Honorable no, no, Bambura, honorable, no, no, no. somehow I, I, I agree and disagree with him. I disagree with him where he say in political party for dialogue with this government. I make an answer. Why you political party for dialogue with this government? We we say we compromise. We say compromise. Yes, when it matter when they free with money, no fire, no get compromised. This is the way they go. They go kill somebody in a party office. They kill one boy. They call yellow man two minutes away from the party office because of a very right. We say all right. we say all, we say all in the indicators and all the things that we then do with before the election, during the election. None of them come say, "Oh, show." We 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 Mr. Jano, what are you, what are you light on this? Um, oh. If you at all listen to uh, um, the interview, what are you take on it? Can you unmute, please? Can unmute, please. please. You still mute, please. I sound the crisis. Please, go on, go on, go on. And I listened to the interview, and since the election, I've taken a quiet stance. I oh, have I to be you. honest, mm -hmm. I've given up on Sierra Leone. But, but let me just bring... Uh, I just uh, hold on, highlight. Rachel. Rachel, you please allow me. The interview. Let me give me I have words. been in this thing since 1967. And I'm sure most of you here were kids at that time. 1967, I was not born at that time, even in okay. either. Okay, I've started seeing political turbulence in Freetown at the 1967 elections. I saw somebody fired and killed in front of me at Frabi Road when Albert Magai instructed Brigadier David Lansana to take over. Okay? And since 1970s, I've been in the political arena. I would be honest, I'm now giving up on Sierra Leone. You see, the, the, the Sierra Leonean and especially the black race has to learn certain lessons about existence. You don't run your life on emotions. Mother Bio is playing on the emotions because he knows we are emotional, we are egoistic, and we are cheap. 
people like Mohamed Bangu are very cheap. He's so cheap that he can talk. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Make a bring Richard coming. Just hold on, guys. Hold on, please. Sorry. Yes, go on. Go on, go on sir. Go on. And there are many of his types in Sierra Leone. Some of them parading as educated. I will tell you guys something, and I'm saying it for every Sierra Leonean to listen. Nations are not built by muscles. They are built by cooperation of diverse minds. And that cooperation would only work when there are ethical standards. That is, the intellectual class, the educated class, has to accept that we set this standard, we do this, we don't do this. We cannot be operating like pendulum in a society. The, the issue in Sierra Leone as it is now is beyond partisan politics. This is one of the things we have to begin to understand. It's above and beyond partisan politics. It's a class war. A few people think in their own the right to be, trying to suppress the majority. And they recruit people all the time. I'll tell you one thing for free. It will be difficult for Samuel Matthew Wilson Kama to be president of the Republic of Sierra Leone. You know why? 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 Because he has been seen not to be part of that class of hypocrites, deceptive minds, etc. Because it's straightforward. Mr. Jalo, I break out to Creo. And they talk because I want the international community here. Now they ain't get for save weapon and this rubbish show. They and, and they watch and they watch you show all the time. That's <laughs> of course. Sierra Leone is in a quagmire. We need life support. I'll tell you guys something. The bigger picture on another Siam, it's not politics. It's a class of people trying to gel together to hold on to power so that they will continue to misuse the resources of that country. In 2012, it was announced all over the world, even on BBC, on VOA, that oil was discovered offshore in Sierra Leone. During the Madabio regime, we heard of a Nigerian company coming to take over two blocks of oil exploration in Sierra Leone. Guess what? Those blocks were blocks belonging to a Norwegian company, African Petroleum, that has now left Sierra Leone. They left in 2018 November for reasons which I know. And they are now operating in Senegal and the Gambia as Petronor. There is a cabal growing in Sierra Leone that wants to control the resources and they give a hoot about the ordinary man. This is the danger we have in Sierra Leone. So some of us, for our own safety and the safety of certain people, we are keeping back. Okay? But it's more bigger than you people see. It's not about Mada Bio or Anesco, man. It's about a class of people wanting to institute a five dom and misuse the resources of the country. So, so at this point, you, you think, say, the APC for dialogue or compromise with the people? Uh, what is the problem of the APC for them to dialogue? No, I, I can because now one of, now one of my, uh, um, um, uh, Mohamed, Honorable Mohamed, uh, Bangura, in your suggestion that the, that the APC you see, this whole process started in the in the 90s they drove out people for idiots to take over politics and then come public and talk nonsense there are many Mohammed Banguras talking slush in Sierra Leone now for some of us who had been in this thing before <clears throat> we know and I'm a trade unionist talking now I know when there is a grievance, it's not the aggrieved party that must compromise. 
is the party that is responsible for the grievance that must come down and begin to negotiate and make amends. If anybody has to make amends, it should come from Julius Madabio and his gang of thieves, not the APC. It's time we begin to say it as it should. And Julius Madabio and his gang of thieves are doing what they are doing because the intellectual class of Sierra Leone are full of deception, hypocrisy, and non-decisiveness. We lack the ethical and moral currency to run Sierra Leone. We see the council of Mohamed Bangura. Uh, I'll make a lot of this video quick, then we'll leave it on a place. Let me hasten to inform you that there is, if there is popular involvement of civil society in governance programs and activities, there is little or no room for suspicion. And with the call on your governance, sir, this time, civil society, not to for just inform, invite we for law we camp a meeting and say civil society, then they are. Not of all also put we on board. But we want uh, portfolio positions where civil society them to also feel that. With a call on portfolio positions. His Excellency, sir, it will surprise you to know that in the civil society arena of Sierra Leone, we have academic doctors, we have engineers, we have the legal barristers. We have people who are accountants, agriculturists, to name but few, His Excellency. If you make use of those ones, a civil society appointed to a portfolio in governance, then you can see the reality of operations. Before now, we are termed to be evil society, but we want to assure you, with your coming, you change that narrative, and we want to say, before, it is a parochial thinking. And that's my weakness. You come in wipe them. He bring you on board. We thank you, sir. Please, sir. His Excellency, uh, the Vice President, Honorable Vice President, Chief Minister, who now notes this, it is very much disheartening. They are a particular community. So civil society. Sometimes even the workshops have bad. They don't try, they don't call we pass workshop there again. So this, this is not a problem. And we are qualified to the tax. Myself standing here, I'm a graduate with BSc in Human Resource Management. I, I get HCC Secondary School, I get BSc. But His Excellency, for the past yes, years, honestly speaking, the Honorable yes. Vice, Vice President, yes. I don't meet with yeah, him, and finished. I don't present a brochure of paper on the civil society <laughs> movement of the North. All right. <laughs> the is so finished. Like, a marketing meeting, a marketing meeting. No, civil society. Guys, what's up? Even the, 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 even the word civil society means you don't have to ask for that office he is asking for. You have to be independent because you represent those outside governance. You represent those outside the capacity to provide the resources. You know what your people need to understand? The civil society is just like the trade union. It represents the worker, the aggrieved masses. Then you get the employer's federation where they represent you and they will get the capital. Then the government for be the arbitrator. But say, Leone, don't juxtaposition everything. And these are the guys claiming to be educated. Is that an educated man talking? No, Mr. Jamoria, I, I noticed something by this video I just watched. Whenever we talk to a leader, you know, they take note of what you talk, you not take it serious. And because the guy, they use them for achieving a motive. And not take them serious. Then you go put something in an envelope, give them, say go holler. And they shouting as if Jesus Christ is two, two billion light years away for him to hear him. So then it's finished. Sulaiman, what you, what you, you take on this? This now be congratulate and go congratulate Madam Bio, right? 
where it's on it's yeah, on yeah. market it's on marketing meeting that the market and, and the guy and the guy make a clear say them they call them evil society this I, I would so, not come a change the narrative this is yes. just too so painful for watch painful. you know when you see when you watch you can't hear you you, you know it's an Indian. It, for me it's so embarrassing that I can share the same country with fools like this we you know can come for do job hunting rather than I mean, just like Mr. Jamboree rightly said, civil society is a, is, is, is a whole institution for actually watch, like a public watch, yeah. you know, <laughs> or bringing people together yeah. with uh, a public watch. Like what happened to these elections when they go and catch them ballot boxes? This is, a, or, or this is a real civil this society. This is what they not, should be talking not, about. Not, 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 not a bunch of these fools who they just you know through the SLPP, I mean what they did this for this and five years that you know the box stopped with you and it come back and buy to now. These five years they put a lot of resources in creating these fake civil societies all across, you know, uh, um, um, how they getting into massive propaganda, spending so much money for let them let them invite them in them international forums and this and that. That serve no purpose. They need to understand what happened even in Alakala said now Malawi with Mrs. Banda. You know, we become the first African female president at that particular time. They, they, they call her the absentee president. She became fooled into all these international um, um, forums and everything. You know, they invite her here, they spend the country money again, fly while she was flying, they still they still stole over 70 percent of the country resources while she was flying. And you only go faster. You know, here, you just see a society full of people who not get, they're not honest again. They don't get integrity. You know, the poverty is so endemic in that country that, and poverty is a disease. What it make poverty become a disease? It make, the, you see, at moment, the moment, so there's, you see, in the top, they are hard up, don't begin catch up. There's no other means of them getting income. These are people who can bite anything. They can look at shit. They can still sell a chocolate. And and, and, and and Sierra Leone is a place where people don't get all these basics. So, so, man, right. so, so man, sorry, sorry for interject, please. We'll get somebody on the line. We want to respond to mm. Mohamed Bangoa and as possible, we we did at the um, APC party, please. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, hello? Yeah, hello. Like yes, you. yes, good evening. I would have to talk to, please. Um, Actually, you need to talk to the people's power. Yes. People's power. Uh, 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 you watch Mohamed Bangua interview just now, right? Of course. I yeah. listen to the interview from the beginning to the end. So, what are you take, please? Um, I think, see, I want to tell you now plenty, plenty. Thank you, Wade, at the panel, and uh, Mr. Jambuya. Of course, I don't follow him. I want to tell him plenty, plenty. Thank you for your resilience and the love we get for this country. Um, I think, see, Mohamed Bangua is it, really sad for the All People's Congress Party for get Mohamed Bangua as somebody who they represent hundreds and thousands of people in the House of Parliament, the House of Representatives. And uh, Mohamed Bangua don't need that the All People's Congress Party for a while for make you know understand the role and responsibility of a political party for making the, you know, understand within the leadership of the party they do and within they know for do. I just want for tell listeners them with the out here that see whatever decision the leadership of the All People's Party they take, that this leadership we all become vote for the McKinney, then for make we put them there, make them take a decision I want to tell Mame Bangua see this leadership we do see currently. Now our leadership we then take this decision, then take up from world level, then consult with the world executive, get a meeting, get in touch with them, come to the constituency executive, all the constituency around the country, then meet with them, consult with them, come to the district executive, talk with the district executive. Then come to the regional executive, talk to the regional executive right across the country. Then come to the NAC level, then see them, then deliberate on that. Then see the things that will happen before, during, and after the elections. 
they see all of them things they did. Mohamed Bangua within a parliament, of course, they see the things that we have in a parliament. Mohamed Bangua did they, they see the bills that we have in a parliament. The things that we the hospital people government go in a parliament where the parliamentarian, the APC parliamentarians, they really come and start some of the things that they will APC against the majority in a parliament. Of course, in the Mohamed Bangua did they, of course, we talk and say. They pull nine members of parliament for okay. all people's own Pe parts. People's power. Fast, fast forward because we don't get time. Um, one of Bangu make a clear say the day we then call the meeting where the chairman talk over one hour, 20 minutes. They're not in work out. After we in work out now, on the way where they're going to say, I'm not able to call and tell and say if I can sign the letter. Of course, um, I think say if the party we don't pull the press release, before Mohamed Bangua they go na that meetings. And when Mohamed Bangua go na that meetings, the party will explain to the 54 members of parliament the way the ECSL poll results in and they qualify for go na parliament. Not only the 54 members of parliament, they be. we get other people um, we go through the nomination necessarily as well, including people the way we don't win mayoral position and chairperson position. The leadership of the party make a clear to them and just go and reaffirm. Say this now the position of the party. Now the party position is I guess say everybody out there that don't see that public notice, they that press list they will come up from the party. So this now the party is stands and this now the party a position is. So for me, Mame Bangua come and can't talk and can be really a misleading. We don't expect somebody like Mame Bangua, we don't hold high offices there. That this country, you know, the Minister of Information, you know, they don't need another say for make it come and come this inform people them within the leadership of the party. You know, it is really sad for our democracy. Mwame Bangua, the call for dialogue, just the pretty uh but Jamboya the top yada, the Madabio administration and the All People's Congress Party would have for call for dialogue. The APC party don't the call for dialogue all this while we don't the shit up in fact the, the the African Union don't carry out several times for dialogue with the opposition and that of the government. Echo has not the care for dialogue. All of the democratic and institutions there, they don't come to this country for dialogue with the APC and the SNP people. We see the SNP people, you contact it to which they see. Look the laws the way they bring up, 11th hour to the election, and where we constitution become clear when and how the ECSL for bring electoral laws them to the parliament. So all of the things that they want to go and go, they know all of the things they are. So this time when the party don't take so then they go cut. Of course, we don't achieve that one day. And we the ten more member who are say we know they go to that parliament there because the APC not get anything for going to that parliament. You can imagine a cat shaba. The person uh, 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 Madame you in a, a, a political party don't get two third majority in the parliament. If you don't go get two third majority in the parliament, what in opposition you go to that parliament? What you not go to the fifty four members of parliament, eighty one members of parliament, they don't form the quorum. They don't fall two thirds majority in the parliament. And the first time in the history of the we salon democracy since 1996, we don't get any political party. We don't get two thirds majority in the parliament. Now, the very first time this in the history of the political arena for men to get a single political party, get two thirds majority in the parliament. Because okay. this two thirds majority in the parliament, now even on the B, the argument that the past parliament said, of we don't get two thirds majority, we don't go pass this law, we don't go amend this law, this law will for B. So now they make the mastermind, they do all the setting up for men, they forget two thirds majority in the parliament. Thank you. They go for pass smoothly for do all kinds of bad, bad things. Uh, Thank you very team. much. Thank now you very much. Nobody did the whole other parliament. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, people's power. We'll come back um, next weekend. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, well, um, um, guys, I'm um, sorry. Um, I guess for bringing um, honourable, honourable Timbo, making self can say we with me up in at the meeting. We um, honourable Mohamed Bangua left. Then after that, uh, honourable Timbo call and see if we can sign letter. That's, yes, Sulaiman. I'll be just going to tell you, say even um, um, Mayor Akisoya, you listen in recent broadcast where right. he acknowledged in win, mm -hmm. and but he he, he, he make a Playing to all the Fritonians and you know the, the constituent that look right now I will follow the party position. That is what an intelligent person do. You know, I will follow the party position because the party that this position will not take will not go actually Hello, follow the parliament, will not go actually hollow all the mayors in and the way self will take that position. Simple. Very, very simple. 
You see, a lady like Yvonne Akisoya will take that position and to the line of the party. You know why? Yeah. For her, politics is not an occupation. That is correct. It politics not to us. Yes. It gets an occupation where you can go with after politics. Some of we are not interested for going to politics because right. you don't get nothing for offer we. Right. <laughs> the money I for use for go campaign, I can use them for the other thing where I go make more profit. Absolutely. You see, but you get what they talk about poverty. Let we classify the poverty we'll get. I just mentioned about that earlier. Not a material yeah. poverty. Materially, Sierra Leone can be the richest country in Africa, if not the world. Sajamuga, sorry for interrupting. Get mental sir. poverty. Mm. Sajamuga, sorry for interrupting, sir. We'll get um, lawyer Timbo. Like I'm on, sir. Honorable Timbo. Uh, hello, uh, hello, lawyer. How are you, honorable? How are you, sir? How 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 the how, how the Yagba after the election and during the election? Well, it's uh, it's really challenging mm. because we feel like um, the democracy of this country has been um, abused as a political party. I'm going to say this as uh, just an individual party's position has been made very clear in several press releases that we don't put out. We're not satisfied with the election results. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the elections were blatantly stolen from the people, not even from APC, and if the elections were the people then. We we just interv we just interview one of your colleagues, um uh, Mohamed Bango. I will not see us you watch the show. Um what's now you take? Um honestly I know uh see the interview with Mohamed Bango. Mm. I just um, joined you just now and I know that um, I will even name a couple of times, so uh, but I don't know anything that he said. I don't know it before on social media many things, including in broader way cost me and say many things but that is um behind me now because in the moment don't call to apologize when God has said call and cost me say don't call and apologize but for me I've moved on with that. Well um Mohammed Bang Bangua is a brother. Mm. Mohammed Bangua say when I'm all a meeting yeah Mohammed Bangua say when I'm all a meeting at party office where the chairman talk for over one hour twenty minutes he say after immediately where the chairman on talk don't now in left the meeting. They say where he left the meeting. Now you call him, you call and say why he not wait for make um he sign a letter. So now, now inside the your name coming. That is not correct. Huh? That is not correct. That is not correct. Well, so that is not correct. You're not, you're not correct. That's not correct. No, 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 no. I'm not, no, no. So it happened. Mm. Um, I don't know well to the fact that um, the chairman in the trial for the year waiting past the NAC, mm -hmm. the decision of NAC. NAC are the second highest decision making body of the party and the 2022 constitution is say that the decision of NAC is binding on every other subordinate organ the body of the party. The parliamentary group a body inside the constitution, the local council group a body under the inside the constitution. Body of the party don't take in binding on the members and the bodies, including the, uh, the parliamentary group and the local council group. So mm -hmm. that's what the, the, the chairman was explaining. And yes, it took a long time for explaining, but not necessarily means say, um, na, na, na one hour 20 minutes it for explain all that. But apart from the chairman talking, a few other people in talk, including um, people who. Now, members of parliament, I mean, um, elected representatives, people who go and go be members of parliament, that's the that their own contribution, a few, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And um, during the meeting, I think, and they didn't come up with a suggestion because there was no document, say, Ufa go and go sign. It was only this thing, say, we're informing the people, I mean, the. Okay, so since I'm on this, let me say, I put this right now on the. Parliamentary on the side, right. so they were informing us that um, we're not for going to parliament because the party don't take a decision with an unpublish in a press release. Mm -hmm. So, for sure, so we had endorsed this. They came up with the idea that uh, we need for sign the, 
the endorsement from their public notice for say, all of us, the local council, mayors and chairpersons, as well as the 54 members of parliament elect, we all endorse this. Um, I think about seven of us, now we really sit down for the draft. At that time, everyone was inside of our office, including Mohammed Mangora. He was inside there, we did the draft. <clears throat> My computer was the one that was used because me had asked the safety item. So it was typed, they said and go down, then print them out. We continued for day in a, in a meeting, another meeting again, while the members of parliament had made a sign. In fact, this signing was done by the treasurer, because uh, not, not the treasurer, the financial sector, Naomi, they oversee the signing of the document. So after what said, brought the document back to me, as a, sec as a deputy secretary, and then they tell me, say, Mohamed Bangura, not signed. Mohamed Bangura and three other people there will be absent. They're not signed. Two other, two other people there with one person will be present, but in the left. So what I did, because Mohamed Bangura, I consider Mohamed as a friend, as a brother. So I called him and said, hey, brother, say, no sign. That was it. Yeah, honorable, so, be, honorable, honorable. Yeah, honorable yeah. Tibo, uh, Mohamed Bangu and Mide inside the room where we will have distributed the letter for make everybody sign. Mohamed Bangu was there when the letter was discussed. When the letter was drafted, he was there. Mohamed Bangu was there. He knew. And the only reason why the table, like I said, this guy is behind me and avoided the talk for my time. But leave Mohamed Bangu and not create some pictures. If I called him, to tell him to come and sign. I know. I never did. I called him as a friend. Not even in the capacity. I said, hey, brother, still not sign. He explained a lot of things when I would talk. Naya. I will not. He had nothing to do with come and, come and sign. There's nothing like that discussion between me and Mohamed Bangura. All right. Mm. So, uh, um, for, and, and at the end of the interview, uh, Mohamed Bangua, in your suggestion, uh, as a member of the APC party, say, um, it's a party, oh. as a party, una for dialogue and una for compromise with Madabio at this point in time. What do you take as an executive member? Um, that's a decision with the party for take. I cannot say that as an individual now. Don't forget, remember, I'm part of the national executive, so as a small team, I know what I think, um, but as a national office of the party, I have to um, be careful. My not say something when we see the public. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Timbo. Thank you very much. We'll keep in touch. So, so before Una the pitching, um, with waiting me get her from, I'll just make her because fam, family now, now we now we comment section. Um, so they get a little bit of challenges, but the clear thing is, Mohamed Bangu have been saying, uh, after we the chairman don't talk over, do monologue over one hour, 20 minutes, uh, um, nine, uh, um, he left. Where you know, say, he don't concern will be raised, there not be, you know, be there and chance for raising concern. So he left immediately after that, that statement. Did. And the way they go on the way, nine uh, honorable Timbo call him, say, why you not sign? So the issue, the thing that way honorable Timbo don't can clear, when I in a, a, a deputy national secretary general, what he don't can clear, he say, when the the initial uh, um, discussion with the go on for, for, for write the letter, you know, for letting them go sign up, Mamwet Bangura was there. I think say, to me, your knowledge now, when they don't write, they write letter now because you know one sign according to the explanation. So he left. Yeah. That is my understanding. But if the are say a letter they in the process where they can discuss, say exactly. so that they can write, let everybody go endorse some as a parliamentarian, council member, even the, 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 the males there yeah. for let them go sign. So I think say it not be go down well with them. And he basically not be one for sign, so he left. So maybe, maybe, maybe you know, favor the idea, you know, the idea. The idea. So, yeah. the, the, so, uh, honorable Timbo don't can clear that side for we say what Timbo Mohamed Bangua say was wrong, basically. 
So now the word that uh, 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 Mr. Jalo and uh, uh, Mr. Fona <laughs> Suleiman. I mean, what you are, are um, seeing the whole thing, mm -hmm. the APC for actually stick to the guns because um, going into um, 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 court, where you say the court is one institution where all our, our country report they don't just really dismiss and say that crappy institutions. You know, not gonna pay. In fact, APC go to court, it's like when I will be a process with SLPP, we will tie on him. And the, I can tell you how the international community the, the function here. You see, if the APC do what they do so, when they, re, they reject for going court, they reject for participating in parliament, it will continue to create more international attention. And this, I mean, if they do the reverse, they, 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 they seem for actually show uh, this kind of you know move that they are going to be creeping in with the SLPP, it makes their situation bad. Now, there's something they play that the geopolitics of West Africa, like particularly what they happen in Nigeria, the position of the head of state in Nigeria. I mean, if all that was, I mean, then they go well. Going is is, is something that going that's going to work in the in the favor of the people of Sierra Leone. Yeah, because if. Like and don't forget don't what happened in Senegal recently. That's what I'm saying. I mean, these are things where you go get a very positive effect on the situation. Salio, for example, like within Tinubu uh, Nuso, if they bring that election into question, they ensure they actually even find out saying the electoral commission have play a really big role for rig that election day and everything, and they show leadership where the actual set that particular example day. It works very very well for us. It's going to shame a lot of people in Sierra Leone. You know, the international community will only pay attention when they see this continuous stance from the opposition yeah. of non-participation. Yeah. How will they run a government when you need an opposition if they want to give a funding? You need an opposition if they want to give a you know engage with the government in so many different different projects. We have a country where almost sixty something percent of the country's budget, the 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 other kind of stuff, uh, government we don't talk about bigger bigger economy. What that means is like, <laughs> I mean, in terms of salary, parastatals, and you know, the government sixty percent of the government is funded by defeat by the international community. So this is the kind of economy we have. How can we function? How can these people engage with the government with the opposition? So this is a good thing the APC has done. Taking that particular strong stand there and stick it together, now it will make a difference because when Madabio don't spend a few months, it does see, if, of course, for five years, investors are really good in that country because you go around, look at all the beach, go around all the different places, that's also black money, they see, they see which man itself, like a country where, you know, during the 10 years of Alice by Coroma, you see a lot of tourists, you will see a lot of people at the beach, it means that the country was welcoming, but for the five years of Madabio, you go around and so only a few social bloggers um, from US where you can really still ask the question, where are all the visitors? Where are all the tourists? And a lot of people only wake up to this image and this reality. For five years, I mean, Rachel, nobody brought their money. A simple bakery, not even a council of Fogo even open a bakery. That is just personal investment of somebody. <laughs> a bakery, these people make noise for a bakery. That not actually even send shivers down your spine that this country is dying. A simple bakery owned by a fuller man from Guinea, where make them make a big noise about it. I begin to ask questions, they all shock. This is so funny. You see now they're having dance for this election. You know, some of them, they, they hide by the beauty t shirts more. If, if you really want to dance for that election, they pull out in. So you begin to see that these people, well, you would only live 30 years in America. Australia, Canada, this and that. You see excellent politicians, there, excellent societies, excellent services when they deliver to you in you pick it there. Then you go come. You can't dance for a stolen election like this way from the beginning to the end. You see all the evidence are there black and white in this digital age. Videos. So that I don't mind. I want to play two videos quickly while we're at the place. Put it close. And you, the candidate. Let we, let we done with this first before we go okay, to go that. Thing. I want to do a follow up to Suleiman. Oh, go on, go you on. You see, as I said before, we get for try control with emotions and begin look at things rationally. Right. The APC 
has taken the best stance in this situation right had it been that the international community been get a picture otherwise say the elections were transparent the apc was only trying to be recalcitrant then it would have been counterproductive for the apc to take this position but now it is clear globally that the elections are not transparent and of course for me and you we know the economic reality and we know the reason why people lend the vote we know say there is no way possible and not care whatever they say juju or whatever which i don't believe in for making the people of sierra leone become zombies and go vote for the man where they do the wrong thing right. if the apc stand up to this position it means one thing way back in 1987-88 when dr jim fauna started negotiating with the international community let them come back in sierra leone one of the conditionalities where them been put and that came especially from the british is that we must go back to multi-party um, um, politics okay so if now we have a situation wherein we are going to have a de facto one party state this is not by law it's by circumstance so it's a de facto one party state mm -hmm. if we go back to that it means the international community would have a lot of questions about funding projects in sierra leone and another thing we'll get for look at because these guys they are fools they are fooling themselves yeah. if we have to ask that and left we we can go Ooh. china we can go middle yes, east or qatar no russia is out of the matrix okay but let me give you a geoeconomic scenario china is doing more business with america and europe going into trillions of dollars they wouldn't miss that for a bunch of idiots in a small country in west africa okay the people in the middle east watch the middle east recently they are building an economic strength by investing in europe and america manchester city is owned by the sovereign fund Paris Saint Germain is owned by a sovereign fund. Manchester United soon will follow suit. These guys are investing in different departments to make more profit for their sovereign funds. And they are investing in countries that are holding this government accountable. Do you think they will mess up that for a bunch of idiots? If you ask me, no. So what's the third alternative? They might go in for dirty money. And I'll tell you this, the DA is a lot. So it's a losing battle. It's a losing battle. Now, where you know, you get a lot of people in Sierra Leone, they claim for be PhD, but they don't think they are zombies. Then before that advice, Julius Madab, you say, look, my friend, back down on this thing. Let we talk this thing. Let go back into elections. It's the simple way forward. Uh, boy, they are like creeping something here on what in boy say so. You know, okay, look, okay, you have Nigeria taking this particular position today. But if you look at the circumstances of both elections, we own is so crude. The way we do this election as Leone, it's like going backward to 1960s. I mean, when was the last time when I hear um, um, a, 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 a ruling party they intimidate the members, they intimidate members of the opposition they harass them they intimidate them from the very first particular point this election was so crude on to uh, this five years is just is just weird in Sierra Leone. this five years very weird very very weird and anytime there's an slpp in power you look at the amity jack about uh, that is how they are they Any make a left big country with short pairs and t-shirts and slippers i mean bore jambore you see you see the the, 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 the thing with you always fail them i can tell you you can always fail them but you always fail i can tell you rachel with my own experience with the amity jack about region they use very massive propaganda then draw in other fools them 
from the APC, I don't go name name tonight, so I would love respect some few of them, particularly certain female, where they use in the international dangerous propaganda. Can you imagine a war way for don't end in 1997? Ebo, they tell the way Creole say, rebel get him, we don't have rebel, the rebel they can't have a free town. Huh? They, they say we let this war done. done. They say we want to we want an end to this war and everything. Is that not a question of the rationale of some people? Is that not a time when people are say, no, 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 Say, oh, this is an opportunity. Lord, this have Lord, demobilize. Lord, make the war could have ended in 1997. Exactly. heads for think. That let's get away and go kill mercilessly. Pull a samba. That is the time they all come with their guns. Then that is the time for Abed Jacobago say, okay, yes, let's have form a government of national unity. We disarm, we demobilize, we reintegrate with this, that, blah, blah, blah. But what happened? No, let it go. They drag the guy back with the gun and bush the gun back. Bush kind, those kind of sense this. You don't ever see at this world. It ended up to over 25,000 people died. 6,000 died in January 6, 1999, along January. Other 15,000 died all across the country. And it won't end up now if they go make peace now in the year 2000. Suleiman. What are you going to do in the year 2000? Suleiman. Suleiman. Please. Guys, Suleiman, yeah, don't you need to talk to me? That's something for another day now we'll discuss them. Yes, I can, I can. Because there is a reason why they did that, to cover up a lot of things. I'm telling you, but we can offer them. We will discuss them from other days. Now they get the first leader, where they'll be the head of the military, also, you know, the Kamajoy women they want to say, don't do that. When they, they arrest them, they are the only SLP people, the only particular game record, where 30 to 70 of the Kamajos are in prison in Rwanda. 75 of them, including the Kamajo head priest in Doha, is in Rwanda prison for war crimes. It's then a cover up. We'll discuss it at okay, another can, can, can. time. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Say, I have a strong message, and uh, that is what politics is about. <laughs> Not about region, tribe, or how you look, you know. No. Now, for solve national problems, yeah. provide public goods, we will make everybody able to do what you want for do. So, we have to keep the peace, but at the same time, I think in defense of our nation, yes. we get to make certain people and quarters know mm -hmm. that we are an independent nation. Yes. And with everything that they happen elsewhere, we also deserve our own respect. Yes. Some of them are the king talk to them, but some people they talk the wrong thing. And some people, for small money, they sell their nation. Yes. So, why we the fight for keep the peace? We wanna get the very important. We wanna big stakeholders. Now, for also they talk the right thing. Men they know not to government they defend itself. Now, the people they says this is our country. Yes. This is your country. You have a right to say it. Yes. If you not say them, then you keep them. Or you just subject yourself to the will of other people. Then you just betray your nation. Yes. Me, I don't take oath. Several times we had to enter the military, we had on this uh, uh, president the first time, the second time, this and the third time. So if Naswe, if Naswe don't start. <laughs> yes, now <Nah>, oath. <laughs> the Bible kill the Lord, they swear, and they hold on my hand. So I owe it to my God, my conscience, and my own value system for deliver as much as I can from protect this nation. I want to make one know, say, nobody not get any other place where you go home that's ready. You either go there with visa or you hold a passport. Even when you hold a passport, you for know, anytime they're ready for get, to get you out of the place, then they do one. So, we forget the, the kind of attachment to this. See the book, Attack Capital. Nobody, we didn't say, now the democracy. The young democracy, now we've gone there. Not so? Yeah. Every day, yeah. people that did so. Yeah. Who are we? Now we all country, this is what we take care of ourselves. Yeah. But it is also not fair, and it is unfortunate <coughs> when some of the way they out in a civil society, you keep quiet or you not talk against them and let the government want for defend. OK. 
Okay, guys, we're up, we're up, up now, man. It's a lot. So, you so, want my let, opinion about some so of let me just speeches. give the, the premise. Let me just wrap up with this with this one. Um, Mr. Jalo, yes, um, <laughs> what's in a you you take?